What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Trinity. I'm back with another video. I'm super excited today because we are getting ready to do a pick a card reading. Excuse my hair. It's hot here in Vegas, so it's starting to kind of like do its thing where it like puffs up and does weird shit. But anyways, I have three piles here. I will insert a picture now. Welcome pile one. Let's see what could possibly be in store for you for the month of June 2020. And we'll start with the Oracle cards first. So we have awareness, which right off the bat just signifies um, new beginnings, um, a fresh start, some sort of an awakening, um, a spiritual awakening here. And then we have the throat chakra, which can signify your need to speak up in a situation and then we have the three of Pentacles in reverse we have the hanged man and the five of cups so like I said I do see an awakening or something being brought to your attention some sort of epiphany happening um, to where you're gonna feel like you need to speak your mind. You may have started a business venture with someone and maybe aren't seeing eye to eye on that at the moment. It looks like you you will be working alone. You, you could possibly be working alone on this project in June. And you may experience, or you may think you have experienced loss on the outside or just at first glance, it may look like you um, have it, whatever loss you may have experienced, you may get whatever loss you may be getting ready to experience. Just know that you have more to gain. There's still other options. As you can see, he's, he's so focused on what has spilled over spilled milk that he's not even recognizing like, take these two cups and go across that bridge and go home, my dude. Like, fuck this <laughs> or not to be rude or with the f-bomb but like yes so you may be experiencing some sort of loss maybe um you started out with a business venture or you started off a business venture with someone and maybe that connection now will be lost but you're being asked to look at things from a different perspective for the month of june so I definitely see an awakening happening for you. I see a lot of spiritual things happening for you. Um, some relationships being cut away um, and not by your own doing. I feel like this universe is really gonna um, snatch it out of your life for lack of a better word. And you're gonna be asked to look at things in a different perspective. Um, but also I'm, I'm getting, don't let anyone uh, put your light out like stand your ground stand up pretty don't get hurt again is what I'm hearing so I don't know if that's take that as that resonates don't get hurt again stand up for what you believe in so let's go ahead and see what um, energies will be guiding you through the month of June we're gonna be using the angels and ancestors Oracle cards for this so we're going to see what energies will be guiding you through the month of June, okay? What energies will be guiding pile number one for the month of June 2020? Energies that will be guiding or surrounding pile number one for June 2020. Whoa. So we pulled two. We have... Mirror Guardian, take time to reflect. And then we have Summer, bask in joy and light. Bask in joy and light. So Mirror Guardian, it says take some time to reflect on your strengths and challenges and how far you've come. Recognize your gifts. You are a beautiful being who has surmounted so many challenges and expanded in so many ways. Your angels are now guiding you to take inventory of your life, to take the time to note all of your recent experiences. The challenges have 
the challenges you have surmounted, the strengths you have developed, and the lessons you have learned, your angels want you to reflect on your strengths in particular, those aspects of yourself that you feel have not been acknowledged by others. Offer yourself approval here. It's due. And know that when you give yourself credit, others will be able to as well. So take that as it resonates. You're a beautiful being. Remember that. And then we have your seasons card, which is summer. That could also indicate um, a time frame for something. So I don't know if you've been waiting on an answer for something or you've been waiting to see when a start date for something or, or been waiting to see when to start something, but that could be a time indicator here for you, okay? So the summer card, bask in joy and light, rise up open your wings and shine bring your projects and plans out into the light into manifestation which makes a lot of sense with the three of pentacles in reverse maybe you are the one in the group that needs to speak up i don't know if this is like a work situation or like i said a business venture i don't know um but take that how it resonates, okay? So it says, this is the perfect opportunity for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Light has come to banish the darkness. Clarity is arriving too, allowing you to know exactly where you are and how you can move forward. Angels and ancestors guides, angels and ancestor guides are encouraging you to enjoy this moment and not to rush forward because this is the time for pleasure, enjoyment, and expansion. There is a great chance that you have extra energy, creativity, and inspiration at this time. Notice what is coming to you as it is an inspiration directly from the divine. As it is inspiration directly from the divine. When the summer card arrives in the future position of a spread or as the last card in a reading, it can also indicate that the coming summer will usher in important energies with regards to your question or intentions. Okay, so like I said, something's being revealed to you. There's going to be some clarity coming to you. There's going to be some sort of awakening happening. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this out with a love message for the month of June. Something you can hold on to just in case things, times get hard or you have a rough moment. You can kind of hold on to this and go back to it later. So the card that came out says, life is art, paint your dreams, sing your songs, enjoy the dance. Now, number one, that is all I have for you today. That was your June 2020 predictions and your love message for the month of June. If this resonated with you, definitely hit that like button, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you all in my next video. Sending love, light, and positivity your way. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Hey, Pile 2. Welcome to your June 2020 predictions. What could possibly happen for you in June? We are going to be using the regular Rider weight deck and the Psychic Oracle cards. We're going to start with the Oracle cards first. We have Spiritual Strength. And we have Deception and Envy. So definitely I feel like there's some people around you or the, the people that are going to be around you. I feel like this is old energy. So this might be someone in your circle that may be pretending to be um, like, yay, you know, pretending to be supportive of you and your accomplishment, but really isn't happy for you at all. And you're going to find that out. And I feel like they may even be trying to sabotage your success. Um, whether that be just little things. Maybe they say slick stuff to you. Like really smart ass shit. Uh, sorry for the cuss words. Um, or something. They, I just feel like they're doing something. Whether it's wishing things into your life that are not good. Um, but you're going to find this out. You're gonna find this out soon. So let's get to the uh, tarot to see if this opens up a little more for us. The first card we have is gonna be the Eight of Cups in reverse. In upright, that normally means that somebody has already made the decision to leave and walk away. In reverse, this tells me that you'll be indecisive 
about whether or not to continue this friendship and forgive and, and continue the friendship or forgive and disconnect. Notice I put forgive in both of them. Because <laughs> forgiveness is going to set you free. It's going to let allow you to feel better about your decision moving forward. Okay, and so then we have the Ace of Wands, new beginnings, new creative ideas could be coming um, to you. You could be dealing with an Aquarius because this is, or an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You could be dealing with any of those. I'm not a signs expert or even um, what cards correlate with which, which um, signs. I'm not a, a master at that. I only know some of them, but I do know this is the air signs energy here. So yeah, new beginnings, new creative ideas are coming into fruition um, once this person goes. So I really do, I'm, I'm not going to tell you what to do. You know your friend, you know the person this is once you find out in June, but I feel like once that issue is resolved, opportunities are going to come in for you, okay? And so you're also going to be experiencing a period of rest and relaxation in June, okay? So let's see what energies will be guiding you in the month of June 2020, Pile 2, okay? What energies will be accompanying you? That's two men, eh? What energies will be accompanying you for June 2020? Energies that will be accompanying you for June 2020. So we have Protection Guardian, drop your shields. Whatever this person is doing to try to throw you off your game or try to trip you up or it's same thing, but whatever they're doing is not gonna prosper, okay? So surround, your th surround yourself with things that make you feel safe you know um this card can also mean meditation i don't know if i mentioned that but you might need to go into a period of solitude after this situation and kind of just really reevaluate reevaluate your relationships your friendships that kind of thing okay so i am going to read her explanation but i want to pull a second card to see what other energy will be assisting you in june 2020 okay energies that will be assisting pile two in june 2020 the high priest intend and create so that to me goes right along with this ace of wands creative stuff creative opportunities are going to be coming into you C coming into you listen to your intuition whatever your intuition is telling you Look at that. And this is the bottom energy. Lady, enjoy growth and reap rewards. That's expansion, new beginning. Which is this lovely woman here. Drop any shields of shame, resistance, and fear that are standing between you and your chances of enjoyment and fun. Know that you don't need to hide who you are or the gifts that you have. You were born to shine. You may have encountered shame or embarrassment in your past, but this is not your present. Angels are drawing, drawing close at this time to help you move beyond any limiting thoughts, emotions, and patterns that may be making you feel unsafe. Know that angelic protection is swirling around you at this moment and will help you move forward in a more fearless way. Call on your guides for help in changing your frequency so you can feel safe and protected at this time. You are stronger than you think and your angels and ancestors guides your angels and ancestor guides are here to help you realize this now you're protected in everything that you do you're being guided recognize that you have the power to change your life face your fear and align with light you are a bridge between heaven and earth and it's important for you to know that you are more powerful and connected than you may think Everything you are giving attention and energy to at this time is creating your way forward. There have been some setbacks, but accept, it, accept these as experiences that have held you. 
There have been some setbacks, but accept these as experiences that have led you to a deeper understanding of yourself and your spirit. Know that you are being guided by the ancestors to direct your thoughts and energies toward what you want to grow, heal, and expand. And then watch it happen right before your eyes. So who's ever deceiving you, don't even put any more energy into it. Like I said, I don't want to tell you what to do with your friends, but I think this person needs to go so that you can prosper and focus on other things that are more important uh, for your life. So let's go ahead and get a love message for you here. Love message from your spirit guides, divine God, whoever you believe in for June 2020. Something you can kind of hold on to for the month. And we have realize your worries and receive. Oh, wait, realize. Back up. It says release your worries and receive universal abundance. So take that how is it. So take that how it resonates, pile number two. That is all I have for you today. That was your June 2020 predictions and what could possibly happen in the month of june for you okay so i really hope that you enjoyed this if it resonated with you go ahead and leave that thumbs up for me okay and i will see you all in my next video i am sending love light and positivity your way have a beautiful and blessed day bye pile number three welcome to your june 2020 predictions what could possibly be happening for you in June so we are going to be using the regular Rider weight deck along with the psychic Oracle card deck so we're gonna start with the Oracle cards first and we have patience and destiny you've been reaping you've been uh, sowing some seed somewhere with something I feel like it's more on a spiritual I feel like it's more on a spiritual aspect that you've been sowing seed you've been planting your seeds and so that's getting ready to come into fruition whatever you've been working on for June in June it's coming to fruition sis bruh we have the world card which means things have come full circle for you um, in June. There's going to be endless opportunities, definitely a new, like a rebirth of some sort. Uh, spiritually, this could be a spiritual awakening. And then we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. And we have the Six of Cups in reverse. So maybe you're letting go of the past. Ten of Wands in reverse extra responsibility is weighing you down you are trying to do all the things yet you are struggling under the weight of it all delegate and share the work around you you don't have to do it all yourself okay you're you're on a, an awakening journey i feel like or something is spiritual is happening with you something spiritually is changing You've been planting the seed. <laughs> For some of you, it could be spiritual. And then some of you, it could be like tangible, actual material things. But honestly, I feel like this is more of a spiritual, emotional thing. Maybe you feel alone in your journey, you know. Maybe you've been trying to change and you don't see anything happening. Or you're just bogged down by the work that you've been doing, like in terms of trying to better yourself but know that your your spirit guides are with you like they are definitely with you um yeah i feel like fruition things are coming into fruition for you because you're letting go of the past you're going to be releasing some things here in june that are going to allow you to get to your destiny because you've been planting those spiritual seeds. You've been doing the work to heal. And now a rebirth is happening, okay? So don't feel bogged down. Maybe you feel bogged down by, okay, so I have to work on myself spiritually, but then I have to live in the, uh, the 3D world too. So how am I gonna, maybe you just need to find some balance there, or maybe there's a new path you need to go on. Uh, are you being asked to quit a job? Are you being asked to quit a relationship? Are you being asked to move in a different direction than you normally move? Because if you are, you really need to sit down and listen 
to that request because it could and I'm I'm 99% sure that it's what you need you just have to listen to what it is that your spirit guides are telling you let's go ahead and see what energies are going to be assisting you or with you during the month of June so I definitely see some change happening for you whatever you've been working on is definitely coming to fruition you're letting go of the past okay so we have Arrow, surround yourself with protective energy as you go through this change. And then we have the air guardian, shift your perception. I feel like I need to put that right underneath of this. You're feeling overwhelmed. Shift your perspe your perception on the situation. Try to try to always see things through lenses of love and light and just positivity. Find the positive in the situation. Find a reason to keep pushing forward. Try to surround yourself with protective energy. Uh, surround yourself with positive people and experiences and environments that make you feel safe. Call on your angels, guides, and ancestors to bring you protection. If you are in a situation where you feel that not everything is as clear as it seems, trust your intuition. There are energies in your current situation that aren't fully aligned with your intentions and goals or with kindness. Follow your intuition about whom to trust and what to trust. If you can take time to retreat or to step out of this situation to assess what is going to be beneficial for you, do so. In any event, this is a time to call on the energy of protection and to place yourself in a space that feels safe. Take that as it resonates. Definitely surround yourself with some protection because I do see um, a change happening and you may be in my experience changing through my my spiritual awakening which I am still going through um, while I'm changing those big changing moments I'm very vulnerable to um, spiritual spiritual things I'm very vulnerable to humans or just like the 3d world so definitely find a way to protect yourself sage pray Keep your vibrations high, okay? Protect your peace. And then we have the air guardian, okay? Change the way you think and you will change your whole reality. When this card arises, it's an opportunity to learn about way, your way of thinking. You are being guided to recognize that not all you see is exactly the way you see it. Sometimes, Sometimes the mind can play games and sometimes our perceptions can be wrong. If you are being challenged or feel that there's a lack of clarity and direction in your life at the moment, there's a good chance the way you're thinking or what you're focusing on has a lot to do with the, that reality. You are being guided to open your eyes and mind, go beyond any limits you have set for yourself and recognize that the way you see the world is how you will experience the world. Opportunities are moving in your in your direction, but they will only up, open up for you if you are ready to do the internal work to support them. Don't give up. This shit is hard, okay? It's hard. Nobody said it would be easy, but it will definitely be worth it, okay? So keep keep going forward. Let me see what love messages of love we have from your spirit guides, divine, whoever you believe in for the month of June, okay? Messages of love, ooh, didn't even get to finish that. It says, in the end you tried and you cared and sometimes that is enough. So take that how it, how it resonates. I'm gonna pull one more for you, pile number three. I don't know if I called you guys pile number two. File number three, my bad. Never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. Oh, that is all I have for you today. Pile number three, that is your June 2020 predictions. If this resonated with you, if you liked the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. I'm sending love, light, and positivity your way. Have a beautiful and blessed day. I will see you all in my next video.